Oh my god. I am not awake right now. Super hard to wake up early for me lately. I think it's because when I wake up for my jobs early in the morning, on my days off, I just kind of want to like cruise, you know? But no, I'm up. Uh, today is a diving day. That's why I have my coffee to try and get my ass up out the door. It's not even that early, honestly. I'm waiting for it to hit 8 o'clock so I can check the snorkel report. And there's this website that I use to just kind of give me like an idea of where conditions are looking good on island. I want to hit up the North Shore today. Uh, just because now it's officially, um, I want to say it's pretty much summer here. Um, on the Hawaiian Islands, so that means summer swell is no more and it's looking like a lake and there's a lot of fish and Yeah, I'm just really excited. This was supposed to be last summer um, <laughs> I was supposed to go spearfish every day last summer, but I started working last summer trying to replenish my um, Savings again, so that didn't really happen, but this is the summer. I'm gonna do it. So I'm excited. Um, I already have my gear all packed in, in my new vehicle that I got yesterday. So I'm stoked. I checked it yesterday, made sure it's nice and tuned. Called my friends Tierra and Joe yesterday. We're gonna go meet at um, Butch and Coco. We're gonna go meet their touch base. Uh, Joe's gonna let us know what conditions we're looking like on the way to Butch and Coco. And then from there we'll decide. Cause there's a couple of spots I really wanna hit up. Um, just cause I know Surefire guarantee I will get some fish because it's North Shore action and over here, that means like pretty tame fish. So I'm excited. Um, yeah. I'm gonna drink this coffee though and hopefully it wakes me up a little more but it's a beautiful day yesterday was cherry the day before it was cherry <sighs> ah! okay i'm gonna get ready now so it's like eight o'clock and i'm still waiting for the snorkel report which is weird normally it's out by now is it recording i don't know what's going on they're normally like spot on um they put it out exactly at eight and then I check Windy and then the other apps that I kind of like rotated around. But yeah, I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes to wait for the snorkel report. We're all still going to be anyway, but I thought I would show you my new whip. Here. So this is Sadie because she is a 99 Mercedes ML320. Let me stoke the water. Oh, she's locked. I got it from a chick who also works on the boat. There's a lot of space in here. Um, plenty of space. In the back also, I can carry people in here, pack toilet paper in here, um, but yeah, I, I love it. I can easily just chuck a whole mess of surfboards in here, my spare gear. I'm starting to do the farmer's markets now, so um, I need to just put a lot of things back there sometimes, so I'm like, I'm super, yeah, this is a great vehicle. It's a higher profile, so I can get on the little off-roady parts um, of my day, which is like every day. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's today? Today is a Tuesday. Today is a Tuesday. It's my second day off. Uh, the people I am diving with today are my friends, Tiara. She owns an amazing, amazing honey business that she makes from scratch. Um, pretty insane. You see how I'm a little more awake now. Uh, my friend Joe works with me on the kayak tours. So, And he's also already a seasoned spear fisher. So we'll have some good eyes out on the water today. I don't even know what's going to happen today. So it'll be fun. Yes, sir. Hello, Makanas. Hello, Makanas. Makana, Makanas. Makana, Makanas. You and your big fat ass. Mm. One for me, baby girls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. That was random. Makana, Makanas. Makana, Makanas. <laughs> Goodness, cause we understand, we know you're the alpha chicken. Okay, it's a it's a ninety nine ninety nine Benz. 
Uh, all wheel drive. What else? Remember Jurassic Park when they had those Mercedes? So the snorkel report officially came out a little late, but it's looking good. Um, the North Shore's been on like an 8.5, 8.0 out of 10 the past couple of days. Um, and it's been looking cherry. I think it was an 8 yesterday, yeah? It was an 8.5 yesterday. So it's like 0.5 a notch down. But I think it's still going to be good. Um, because we're going early-ish. Uh, <laughs> but the South Shore is looking like a little jank. Can you see? That bottom yellow number. Like, the moment it hits that color yellow, like, it starts to, like, really decrease. Even in the green, if it's like a 5.5, I would not really just go out. Um, but what we're thinking is an 8. So, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Alright. Um, I got my vehicle all packed up. Got some water going. I have batteries for my GoPro. I finally found my other GoPro that I didn't have for like months. I found that. Um, got my camera gear charged up and ready. And yeah, I'm about to head out here in like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go! I just got a call from Joe. He's already at um, the coffee shop that we're meeting. He's already there and he checked this one spot on the way to the coffee shop. Um, and he says looking super cherry. So that's my plan B spot that he checked out. Um, I really want to go to this one spot that's close to that coffee shop. But yeah, almost at the coffee shop and I will see you there. for the summer obviously hey we'll bring the cooler motor how many miles uh 160 that's it i know and well it's, it's because they, there was a recall and they never went in uh, for 10 years the toyota yeah. won't cover it yeah. which is crazy right like that's lame i know it's like if there's a recall and this little rooster it's so cute look at him right now i love the fat ones because their ass cheeks just like kind of jiggle yeah. run run why are you crossing the road Try to get run over. Hi. He got started like only a couple years ago and he's so good. Who's a, there's like the top spear fisherman in Hawaii. He lives on Big Island. We're going on his very first dive with him, you know? 
Oh, yeah, way. Totally and now he just in that last crazy. video I watched with Ryan where they were like diving mm -hmm. to like 150 feet getting shit. Oh no, he's like from Colorado or something. Yeah. I think he just bought land on Big Island though. For who? I gotta still make the flyer, but. Oh my god, you're making a flyer for this birthday? It's gonna be big. <laughs> Where's it gonna be? Okay, so we're at the spot. I'm crouching down here just because I it's not a spot that you want to expose too much. Um, just respect to people who live here, obviously. It's their ice box. But we're here with Tierra. We're all suited up. Um, just halfway though, I am not wearing my full wetsuit today. Um, it's kind of like an in and out action kind of day. Might be a catch and click. We will see. It's gonna be good. I have my GoPro, everything set and charged. And yeah, I am gonna see you in the water. Chew! Okay, so we just got out of the water. Um, my GoPro kind of died midway because I was stupid and went out with like 70% batteries. It was kind of fun, but oh, shot yeah. some fish. <laughs> All right, got this nice size kumu. And Joe got, I forget, it's a type of surgeon fish for sure. I just can't remember what it's called. It got a nice size and it knew it. Thank you for modeling the fish though. <laughs> I know it's heavy. And Joe's got another little Vecchi. I always forget the name of this one, but that one's super good too. But I would say we got a good haul. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Yeah. And how many pounds do you think all together? I don't know. 30? <laughs> 30? Yeah, no, that looks heavy. Maybe even. <laughs> yeah, 30, 35. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, we're going to uh, de-gear, get things wrapped up in the vehicle. Find some trash, too. Always like random fishing gear um, out here in the ocean, so it's always good to pick up every now and occasion found some trash with that and i don't know i might make something cool out of it look at my mass tan though oh my god insane but yeah really great haul i'm kind of excited to do something cool with that kumu so we shall see see you at the parking lot i think that's where we're going right now coffee shop parking lot 
I know. I'm warming up now, but whoa, that was so cold. Especially like when you're like over those cold vents and then the sun goes away. Yeah. It just like tricks you even more it's of like, like uh-huh. <laughs> Are you the best? Are you the best? Are you the best doggy in the world? Doggy in the world. Mm, you're the bestest. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And that's we got so much to do. Cool up. Cool up. So I just went spear fishing with my friends Angela and Joe, and they caught four. <laughs> Was it four? They got the uhus and the ahas and the cuckoos. <laughs> Uh huh. Actually, is a fish name. It's easy to pick up. Girl, I just picked her up. She didn't even run away. Oh, it definitely was domesticated. Yeah, she was. They just picked up there. Unless I was like her breed. Got bunny now. She's hella chill. I've been taking her. So basically, after our dive, um, we met back at our meetup spot. Um, I went to town to pick up some ice to put the fish over, obviously, because we do not want that fish to go bad. Um, after that, I went to Joe's place. I drove over there to drop him off his fish because he did not have a cooler. Sorry if I'm not looking into the camera because I am driving right now. Um, yeah, I dropped off his fish and then I met my friend for happy hour and now I am headed back. I'm gonna stop at my house real quick. I, I was kind of brainstorming all day um, how I am going to make this fish. Cause I I did a panko crusted, panko magna crusted fish last time with rice. Um, and we have rice again this time, but that's, I, I just don't want to do that again. So, oh, there is that traffic. There's that rush hour traffic right now. There uh, is that rush hour traffic that happens every day at this time, which is like, I think it's like four or five. Um, but yeah, I'm headed back to my place to pick up just, just a couple of ingredients because I have maknot and panko. Um, so I can uh, make the panko crusted fish. Um, afterwards, I'm gonna go straight to Tierra's. I guess I will see you guys at my place or Tierra's place, whoever place comes up next. I'm officially at Tierra's house. I stopped by my house and grabbed some mac nuts and some uh, um, and bikinis for tomorrow, just in case I have to do a tour uh, for my job. I think she's sleeping. Ali was here. Um, I was just talking to her to see where I can park. But yeah, I'm here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get settled, start filleting the fish and maybe have a sip or so of some wine, even though I already had like a margarita or two, but who is counting? So yeah, I'm gonna unload my things and head into her beautiful house and you guys will love her house. Her house is like mother frack napping beautiful. I'll see you guys in there. Oh man, you guys look at that kumu though. I haven't seen a kumu this morning. You know, honestly, I was hesitating whether or not I want to shoot this or not just because it's very um, infrequent when I see kumu on the weeks out here, um, especially the South Shore. But, you know, after I shot this guy, I did see several more good-sized kumu, like his size or larger, so I did not feel so bad afterwards. So 
It's fine. He's going to feed a couple of good friends of mine today. Hey, buddy. I appreciate you sacrificing your life. This is obviously going to be a catch and cook um, today. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned earlier, but it's going to be good. I'm going to be feeding a couple people. Ali's already here in a beautiful kitchen. Um, it'll be nice. I want to kind of say this house is like very Bali inspired. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. You wanted to sleep? We're gonna make fish pasta today. Yeah, that one's the end anyway. I shot that towards like the end of the dive. We can either surf or dive. And right now there's no swell, so let's go dive. Pulling the guts out. Is it a surprise party? No. Okay, he knows. We're just planning it. Just making sure we don't have to whisper about it. <laughs> this is terrible. This is super slow. It's just to call out, like last. Yeah. And I'm already calling out. Wow, that's oh. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. That's different. Oh. Is that good or bad? Yeah. Uh, just because I want to fillet the fish up here. Yeah. I'm not gonna scale this one. Mr. Shower in here. <laughs> no. She always <laughs> talked about showering. Kama later, so that'll be good. We got two nice fillets on the plate here, and now I'm gonna start filleting the Ananue. Pretty good size. I was trying to be selective with um, which one I wanted to shoot just because there was the smaller ones should grow. Oh, thank you. You're the bestest. Um, but I resorted to this one, medium, not too small, definitely not too small, but not too big. There's a bigger one I was looking for, but he is obviously smarter because he's big and he's been around. But we're gonna make some good fillets out of this guy and it'll be good. No, they normally get at me, girl. That's why I'm like surprised they're not coming at me right now. You know what's a 100% um, mosquito repellent? Dry coconut husk. You have cocoa trees on the property? Yeah. But they don't, he doesn't really get them harvested. He doesn't have a cocoa guy? Uh, he's the guy. He like used to have a cocoa guy and then he's all paranoid. I think like. I'm gonna need Donnie's help later to like get this off the skin. Suggest. Yeah, with Jess, <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm gonna ask him to get the skin off of the fillet though. Actually, he was, he was at Woodrow, he's not far at all, but he went to the house just to like, get me some panko and some soju. Cheers. <laughs> Seriously, every time I like bring it towards them, they get so freaked out. They think it's like a cat or something. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is like this.
this so it's gonna be a little different i'm hoping that because it's a coarse chop it's gonna be more um like crusty like you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. chunky crusty kind like like yep. Damn, i love this camera oh, i just got this camera recently too so i'm in the like, nineties local though right or no they get their magnets from the guy ah dude i don't know i don't know who's running that is, it, is he still running it or is somebody else running it <laughs> um Donnie just got here. He brought the panko for the fish fillets. And we've got the lovely Tierra chopping up some not so spicy peppers. It's a little intimidating, <laughs> Tierra. She's gonna chop this up to put over the pasta, the pesto pasta that we are making. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be good. She loves it, huh? Hey, she was a girl. Hey, hey. Big brown rabbit. Big brown. What, what happened with her? Like, like, like 20 acres, right? The best one. That's why I'm going to do that check. It's fish nugget and fish dick pieces. Really depending on what I decide fish to call dick. this. <laughs> I, I thought it was fish dick. <laughs> it's amazing food. Caught fresh from the ocean. And, you know, I feel great. That was so. Yeah, I need to learn that trick. Just pull the skin. I swear, I brought my filet knife. I'm not dirty. Uh, I bet you're somewhere in Zadie. I made it work. Lost a little bit, but. Okay. So, got the coconut milk. Fish nugget pieces. I think I'm about to start this filet. Yeah, you Let's get it. That's barely the honey. Who else in the world really has that? Like, Worker bees, that's who yeah, we are. Yeah, wasn't he there? Oh yeah, maybe we're there. Remember you did like Right, I think he was there. Yeah, did, yeah, I took that off the market. Yeah. It was like me, now. Naomi, and um, Pat, wasn't it? And uh, Ali came like a little later. Humans. Oh, you guys are playing this song. This smells like garlic right now. It's kind of great because I'm in love with garlic. But yeah, we're feeling good. Everyone's feeling great. Hey, So, it's here. This is over. I think this is definitely going to be called fish nuggets. This is a fish stick. Okay, that's a shark stick. That's a shark we got stick. taco, taco stick taco. over there. Look at this. Straight yeah, out. Like, that one. The top and the tail. Like, yeah. this is super unintentional, but this actually turned out to be like a fish nugget. Like, shaped fish. Like, the kind we had as kids, you know? <laughs> that coconut was milk is such a good idea. Sauteed veggies with the leftover panko, garlic, mac nut, batter. Oh my god. It's intentional at all. It didn't even look like that when I put it in the oven. He's playing jokes on it. So fern salad. Oh, and the garden on top. Get it out. Pop it. Middle here, middle here. Come look at this. Come look at this. Are we getting a close-up? Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That was a nice one. Mm. Your wine right there. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, well. Yeah, has anyone 
bite though. Is it good? I don't feel like you overcooked it. I feel like you so is that an A you guys? That's really good. It's an A. Awesome. I think that's pretty much the end of this episode. Um if you guys are watching this far, we all thank you for watching. You wish you were here. Wish you were here. Um if you wanna be here, let me know. We 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 Have a good day. Have a great day or night, whatever time zone you're in, and I will catch you in the next episode. Cheers.